Well, the curiosity was only the fact that, you know, I knew Steve Borthwick very well and Steve came and coached with me at Japan. And, and because of that in the 2015 World Cup particularly, I watched their games quite closely because we had a bit of a bet. We had a Welsh defence coach, Lee Jones, Steve, uh, and Australia in the same pool. So we, uh, Steve doesn't drink, but Lee does. So we had a couple of bottles of red wine on the results. So it was good banter. And, and But I watched the games really closely. And, and that's where the fascination came because I remember they had a lot of good players, but it just didn't seem to gel. There was something wrong. And it was just thinking at that time, it's only going to take a little bit to get these guys right because they had a number of good players and uh, that, that that was when any sort of fascination happened. What is extraordinary, I was looking back through um, your, your CV or resume, your, the England role is the longest role you've had in coaching. Did you know that? Uh, no, but... Yeah, there's some extenuating circumstances too. Like yeah, I'd sure. Maybe, I'd maybe still be at the Brumbies, mate, 30 years. And you move to the Brumbies and you go to the Wallabies. And most international jobs are four-year jobs. And again, I could have stayed at Japan but decided to move on by my own volitions. Why England, therefore, for the second term? I haven't fulfilled the job yet. Now, I still think there's more in the team. And I think I can get a bit more out of them. I, I, I really like the, the, the growth opportunity in this team. You know, if you look at it, the last World Cup, we were the youngest team ever to make the World Cup final. And that has its challenges in itself because most World Cup finalists don't make it past the quarterfinal the the next World Cup. And I think that's because they, they're not hungry enough. You know, they think they've done all right. And you get players who have been close to their peak then go to the next World Cup because they want to go to the World next World Cup, not so much they want to win the World Cup, because it takes an enormous amount of effort to win a World Cup. You know, the amount of physical effort you've got to put in, the amount of uh, mental discipline you've got to put in. And, and so to get the right balance for this team is going to, be, going to be one of the most intriguing parts of it. How many we keep from the previous World Cup, how we bring new players in, how we get that balance right before the next World Cup. And and particularly in England, it's even more challenging because the first two years of any World Cup campaign, it's it's difficult because you've got the Lions coming at the second year, so you don't have your players at their best for a period of time. So you've got that last 12 months and more, particularly that last three months to really get the team right. 